Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass, and today we've got a bonus video for you. We are headed out river fishing. It should be a really fun day. Let's go. Fall is in the air, things are cooling down, and these fish are getting aggressive. We expect today to be a multi-species deal. It should be smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, possibly striper, and some other fish mixed in. That's the fun of river fishing. But we came prepared all power fishing. Now that's burned us before. Yeah. That, that has definitely burned us. But seriously, we brought nothing else with us. It's all crankbaits and swim baits and A-rigs, topwater. It should be really, really fun. Let's get to it. on the list of approved multi-species. Little drum on the crankbait to get us started. You think a smallmouth pulls hard on a normal day, you should try it when that river is ripping that fish downstream. Got him. Got him? 2.8. Got a good one? I'm on that flex rig. Thanks, dude. Nice fish. Beautiful smallie on the flex rig. Yeah. 
double them? Yeah. Nice. That'll do. Well, it's not turning out to be much of a multi-species day after all, but we'll take a small mouth beat down. So the gist of what we're doing today, you know, water temperatures are dropping, the air temps have been dropping, and these fish are getting more aggressive, more active. They're feeding heavily through the fall. As you can see, we are in ripping current. However, this is actually less current than we expected, which has really opened up some doors for us and allowed us to fish some more of this open water. So if we were in a little creek somewhere, you know, trout fishing or fishing for a little smallmouth, it's easy to see where they would position, right? Throw behind a boulder, throw behind a laid down tree on the shore, throw into a little eddy. But when you get out here, this is the Tennessee River. There is so much water roaring through here. Now, sure, if we get up there on the shoreline, there will be fish up there in every little eddy, but there's more fish than that. And a lot of times the bigger fish aren't on that visible. Did you come off? Yeah. <laughs> They're not on that visible stuff that you can see. Some are, but a lot of the good ones are out. So what we're doing is we're just out in the current. We've got, we're using an old Trex trolling motor, which, you know, a few years ago was mind blowing. Now we take it for granted, but we've got the old Trex spot locked out here in the current. So we're sitting perfectly still and then we're just fan casting. And essentially the fish will sit out here in what looks like the great wide open and they'll sit behind every little boulder, branch, stick, anything out here on the bottom that creates a little eddy, they'll sit behind it. So we're fan casting, and then when we get bit, they're always sitting there for a reason. It's not a random fish sitting in the current where we're, we've got our trolling motor on 10, right? They're not just sitting up in this current full time. They'd be the skinniest fish in the world if they were doing that. They're tucked behind cover. So as soon as we get a bite, like right here, you've seen how many bites have come off this side of the boat. I don't know what's over there, probably a rock or something, but that current clearly has an eddy down on the bottom that those fish are coming up out of to get our A-rig. So we're fishing current seams, we're fishing breaks, just like we would fish. If you downsize this all the way to a little trout stream, it's the exact same thing, just on a grand scale. In fact, the A-rig itself I mean, this isn't that much different than throwing a Panther Martin for a trout, right? Bladed rig, swim bait on the back, fishing in the current, getting those fish to come out of their little cover spots and attack it as it goes by. <laughs> Ate that one right at the boat. Oh, another quick release. <laughs> that dude smashed it right at the trolling motor. Yes. So that sound you guys just heard, that's the warning system on this. Oh, uh, dude, right on me. Have one? Yep. That's the warning system letting us know that they're gonna be turning up the flow, uh, letting more water out of the, of the dam. So hopefully that turns on the bite and gets those big fish turned on. I just had two on at once. No. Once they get down current of the boat, you're fighting the fish and the current. Still so much fun. Thanks, dude. Got him. <laughs> Two 
again. Is it? <laughs> nice. Here, bud. Hold on to those two. There's a third coming in. <laughs> oh, good one. This bite's not half bad, huh? <laughs> awesome. Got a skid steer in the air. Oh, wow. This is so much fun. I lost a rig to a rock, so I just sat down and built another one. Get this guy spread back out, I'll show you what I went with here. So this is the tactical mini flex. I've got three dummies on top, three hooked baits on the bottom. The top, these are Reaction Innovations Little Dippers. Need to screw that one in a little more. There we go. Reaction Innovations Little Dippers. And then here in the middle, the one that fish ate, that's a three and a half inch Largo shed. And then on the two sides, I went with three and a half inch X-Zone Swammers. And all three of these are on Matt Allen swim bait heads. Very, the beauty of the smaller sizes of the Matt Allen head is that they're lightweight, small hook, but heavy wire hook. So I'm able to throw that in a three, a three and a half, a four, a four and a half, and it'll fit all those different size swim baits. But that's how we set it up. Three hooks, three dummy baits, imitating a school of shad coming down the river. So a tip for you guys, when you're fishing current like this, it can be, especially when it's fluctuating, if they're opening and closing gates, increasing flows, decreasing flows, it's important that you're paying attention to uh, how your rig or your swim bait, your bait, any bait for that matter, is swimming in the water. So uh, if you go too slow, you're gonna be hung up. If you go too fast, it's not gonna look right, especially when you're fishing two guys on a boat. Uh, if Matt's on the trolling motor and I don't realize it's gonna change, the speed that we're drifting, maybe we're spot locked. So pay attention to uh, the feel of your bait. So when I'm throwing this out there, let it hit, engage in the reel. 
I'm speeding my reel up to pick up that slack as we're drifting. And then once I feel that resistance, that's when I'll add my reel twitches. Cause again, I, I feel that resistance. I feel like those baits are swimming straight. If I'm going too fast, they're gonna blow out and look dumb. Feel that resistance, have a little bow in your line. Then you can add your reel twitches and your rod twitches and you can fish this coming down the current no matter how fast you're actually uh, drifting down. Another thing you can do is increase, watch out, sorry, but angry, increase the middle bait, the head size. If you're not getting down, say it's too, the current's too strong and you're not getting down off the surface, increase the middle wire, the one that's farthest back, uh, just a size up or two, and that'll help your bait stay down and you'll be able to feel that resistance quicker. talking nice large mouth 4.8 kitek Catches a large mouth, and I catch a uh, a white. Yep. Nice large mouth. We've given up the A-rig for now in favor of the single swim bait. Sometimes, you know, you can see there's a ton of current right now. And sometimes when there's a ton of current, it's easier for those fish to hone in just on that single bait and track it through all the turbulence. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with us. This was just a bonus video. We were going out fishing, thought we'd bring you guys along for some of the fun. A-Rig season has definitely fired off. You can always count on Tim to find that bite. <laughs> this guy, he'll rig when there is no rig bite. So he never misses the start, but I had to put it on. I was gonna get beat down. I got beat down anyway. But I was gonna get beat down bad if I didn't put that thing on. But anyway, we'll link. Fish. I, did, I did, I did. I got a good large mouth. But uh, we'll link all the gear in the video description, the rods we were using, you know, the components we used to build those rigs, all that stuff for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.